Hey, what's up guys and gals? My name is Rick9G. Thank you for joining me so much. In this episode, we're going to be taking a look at the episode called Grips, Grunts, and Groans. This is a Three Stooge short. It's actually the 20th short film produced by the Stooges. Now, I want to get something clear. If you don't know me and if you're not familiar with the content that I do, this is a video focusing on the history, behind the scenes facts and information, as well as bloopers in this short. If you want to see everything from season one, that is all the stooge shorts between 1934 and 1936, go ahead and take a look at my playlist and you will see that. But we're moving on, of course, to season two, episode 20, and let's get started. The filming of this episode took place between October 30th and November 5th, 1936, and the short premiered January 15, 1937, the first short for that year. Now the title parodies the expression grips, grunts, and groans. In this episode, Curly becomes a wrestler, which calls back to the short Punch Drunks, in which Curly becomes a boxer. If you haven't seen that video of mine showing all the highlights of Punch Drunks, go ahead and take a look, it's in my playlist. Now this current episode, along with Punch Drunks, Horses Collars, and Tassels in the Air, shows an external stimulus that causes Curly to go berserk. Punch Drunks focuses on an auditory stimulus, while Grips, Grunts, and Groans focuses on a respiratory stimulus. At the beginning of this short, watch this chase. Notice the three stunt doubles that are used in place of the Stooges as they round the corner. As they bump into the baby carriage, of course, they switch with the real actors, Mo, Larry, and Curly. But then notice something very peculiar. The baby carriage, you see there's no baby there, and all of a sudden, you see a baby appear. Pretty funny blooper. Now this is Bust Off, the world challenger in the wrestling match. Notice how he's drinking out of that cup. Notice the lip is chrome, and then the next scene, the chrome is gone, obviously showing that it's a stand-in for the original cup so that he can crush it. Pretty funny blooper. Such a creepy face that Mo and Curly make. <laughs> After an unfortunate <coughs> incident, Bustoff cannot make the match, and so Curly has to join. And this is where the craziness begins. Hey, come on, fellas! What's the matter, kid? You nervous? No. I'm scared. The fight begins and Curly gets into, well, he gets into a lot of trouble. However, there is one thing that finally redeems him. Of course, the Hyacinth. However, much like in Punch Trunk, Curly's out of control and begins to attack, well, every single person in the arena. Well, thank you so much, guys and gals, for showing all the love and support that you always give me. It really does mean so much to me. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. I regularly try to keep up with them and answer them if it applies. I'll see you all next time. Don't forget to push through any negativity and any difficulty in your life. We're all struggling, whether small things or large things, but we have to, at the end of the day, focus on what lies ahead. I'll see you all next time, and don't forget, be hopeful.